What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. Yes, that is some thunder, okay? Because this fucking like read gonna be thunder, okay? I'm just kidding, y'all. Uh, yeah, look at my hair, y'all. Anyway, hang time. Okay, just playing, just playing. Anyway, this reading is gonna be called <laughs> What Blessings Are Coming My Way. I feel extra good, even though it's raining. I feel like I'm still gonna be blessed. Like, let them blessings rain down on me, like how it's storming right now. I so that's what I'm hoping for y'all too. Let these blessings come on in, come on through. Um, hit the like and subscribe button before we get started. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, email me and I'll set you up with my prices and we can get something going, okay? Cause I really do love reading y'all. I love connecting with y'all. It be fun to me. So yeah, let's connect. So if you've been looking for a reader, connect with me, okay? I gotcha. Um, so yeah, let's zoom in. What blessings are coming your way? All right, power one, so what blessings are coming your way? You're the only part I gotta do channel messages from. Ignore my little bitty hair, hope you enjoy it, okay? <laughs> I got tired of wearing the little scarf okay so for power one i got you have been putting in a lot of hard work you are very productive you set yourself up with some type of routine and something is manifesting as a result of that okay um someone is coming in for a lot of y'all oh my god it's stormy uh, i might need to run in the house because i'm gonna have some wet cars Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to stay out here as long as I can. Okay, um, this person, somebody, some of y'all are manifesting somebody that had a hard time showing love to you in the past. Uh, but this person has always loved you. This person has always had feelings for you. They just sucked at showing it. Um, this person, um, this person is really craving you at this time. They may have gotten with somebody else. Um, so maybe you stopped talking to them because they wasn't giving you the energy that you need. And then they went off with somebody else and it just wasn't going to work out because that person is not you. Okay? So this person probably had to do some healing when it comes to themselves. Um, this person made them... So the person that they were with made with your person. This person is coming back. This blessing is coming into your life. Uh, the person that they um, went after instead of you, this person made them realize how much they actually want you or need to be with you. Okay? And um, the third party person is a little bit jealous. So let me um set things up i'm sorry my kids are wet i i don't i don't i don't know to, i i'm i'm mad but um <laughs> let me pull the rest of these and see what blessings are coming your way all right so what blessings are coming your way we got the weight of the world boundaries let go it's not yours to carry so i feel like you have recently let go of somebody or or you're about to let go of somebody um or you should, and this is when the blessings will start coming in because we got today ASK or however you say that triggered. You ruin everything, you do it every time. You are my enemy, you are no friend of my motherfucker. You <laughs> got ain't nobody hit a kiss, you hit it. Uh, for some of y'all, y'all are celibate, okay? Y'all haven't had any type of sex, not all y'all, but for some of y'all, y'all are celibate. Y'all haven't had sex since this person triggered you. Um, you have to set boundaries with this person or you have to let this person go. Um, and we got Summer Walker, my affection. You played me once before, but now you want me back when I'm a trophy, uh, when I duck off, I'm a trophy. So I feel like you done ducked off and you done worked on yourself. Now you look bomb, your energy's right. Hey, hey, and this person is noticing that. So this person triggered you, they were meant to trigger you. You were meant to set up boundaries. You did that. Now this person wants to come back in and give you their affection. They actually want to come in and love you the way that they were supposed to in the past. I feel like they had to um, hear some things about themselves. Like maybe they were hurt from something that happened in their past and they couldn't give you that energy. They couldn't love you the way that you needed to be loved. But they always felt like they loved you. They just could not. Maybe they were scared you were going to, you know, do the same thing. Uh, dude got stuck with you, okay? So this person is coming in. This person that you least expect, they were an asshole to you. You had to le let them go and set your boundary. This is who coming back. They triggered the hell out of you. They made you um, act out of your character. They made you 
like obsessive. They made you, you might have been watching a lot of tarot about this person, trying to figure out what the f is going on. Then you finally let it go, or you let them go, or you let them do their own thing, and you started working on them. Yeah. Okay, so you started working on you. So we got Stuck With You by Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber. Uh, I'm not one to stick around. Well, striking you out, baby. Don't care if it sounds crazy. For some reason, I feel like that's this person's energy. Um, Because it says, but you never let me down. I feel like you never let this person down. They just kept letting you down, okay? They wasn't giving you the same energy. They were triggering you. You love this person. Uh, but it says, I can stay here for a lifetime. I feel like this person is coming towards you. They realize this stuff. Um, so lock the door. Throw out the key. Can't, can't, I can't fight this no more. It's just you and me. This person cannot fight it no more. They love you. I think they just, some of them just went into the epiphany that, wait, <laughs> did I fuck up things with the one? Like, whoa. Or, like, some of them are just now realizing that you are the one or they want to uh, be with you. They're just now realizing this or they're realizing that the person that they left you for is never going to be able to, uh, like, satisfy them the way you did. And I'm talking about mentally, emotionally, spiritually, okay? Um, I'ma get to know, I, 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 I'ma get to know you better. Kind of hope you're here for it. This person really wants to get to know you. Maybe I didn't know each other like that, but you felt that they were a soulmate. You knew it. You were very intuitive. Now this person is just now coming to realization that you're their soulmate. I feel like this person really wants to spoil you because that's what I'm hearing. Uh, so go ahead and drive me insane. Like I feel like in the past you drove this person insane, and they were like, maybe they thought you were crazy in the past. Maybe you told them to get their soulmate or some shit. Um, Maybe you talked a lot about whatever, but now this person's ready, okay? They're like, go ahead and drive me insane. I don't give a fuck your mind. I love you. I want to be with you, okay? What? <laughs> somebody's coming, y'all. Travel. Some of y'all, this person, somebody's coming towards you. Somebody did you, did you dirty. They, they didn't see you in the way that you saw them. Now, you look, you working on yourself. You're looking good. You're looking beautiful. And here they ask to come. <laughs> it'd it be like that. Yeah, it'd be just like that. All right, for some of y'all, this person is an older woman. Um, now, for some of y'all, it's, it's not love, this is a friend. For some of y'all, this is an older woman. And for some of y'all, this is somebody that did you dirty, like, um, I'm hearing like so many stories and I don't want to confuse nobody. So, I'm not going to confuse y'all. I'm not going to, I'm not, I don't want to be the author of confusion for any of y'all. So for some of y'all, I'm getting this an older woman, or you are the older woman, and you've been working on yourself ever since, uh, you know, this person hurt you or detached you or wasn't giving you the same energy. For some of y'all, this is a fake friend, okay? You loved your friend. Um, you gave your friend all the attention in the world. They went and got a new best friend that they thought was going to be better than you, and they were wrong. <laughs> they, they sabotaged a friendship here, okay? For some of y'all, I'm getting somebody had got you pregnant, or there's a pregnancy here. Um, so I'm getting three stories all in all, okay? But nonetheless, all three of these people are ready to come back and give you their affection, okay? If you're a male, an older woman wants to come back and give you their affection or a fake friend. Just take a high resonate. Yeah, because look, you done became the sun. You happy as hell. Can't nobody stop your happiness, okay? Uh, you set boundaries, and ever since you set boundaries with this person, you're happy, okay? I feel like this person knew that you made them happy as well. I just don't understand. Well, I do understand. Sometimes people go through things, and like I said in the beginning, somebody might have hurt them, and they might not have known. My bad. My kids are choking the dog. Let Cola go. Thank you. Um, wow, this person wants to come in and help you. So, what blessings are coming in your way? This person that did you dirty in the past? They want to come spend some money with you. They want to come bless you. I don't know what they want to do. They want to give you something. They want to help you out in some sort of way. They want to bless you. Okay? This person wants to bless you. Oh, my God, Justice. This person is going to bless you. This is blessings that's coming your way. Not blessings that might be coming your way. What's coming your way? They finna rain down on you. Y'all hear that rain? Yes. This person wants to come in and make it rain <laughs> on you. Okay? Hopefully it's money-wise. Either way, even if it's not money-wise, some of these people want to make it rain on you and give you some good-ass energy to help uplift you. Some of these people want to legitimately... Why am I feeling like somebody want to come in and buy some of y'all furniture or give y'all new furniture or help y'all with... Some of y'all, this is a specific message for somebody. Somebody really wants to come in and help you, like, decorate your house. 
like for the hell of it they just love you okay um and they have to travel to you um and for some of y'all they just want to give you money or they just want to bless you okay or they want to give you the advice or give you the energy that you need they want to like give you the same shit you gave them in the past okay because you don't set your boundaries okay this, this person is very intuitive they been using the third eye uh, when it comes to you they might even watch tarot uh, but this person is very intuitive they're very in tune uh with the third eye or uh with their intuition so i feel like when this person comes back in you can actually trust this person because this is a blessing okay you can trust this person. You can believe in what this person is saying, okay? I don't feel like they're just talking out of the side of their neck. I feel like this person really had some healing to do. So some of y'all, if you're older, I feel like this person, it's been like 10 years. 10, uh, about 10 years since this person had to grow up. For some of y'all, it's just been like a year or some months. And this person like had to uh, stop detaching you or you had to detach from this person for them to realize. So you ended a cycle. I feel like you were stuck in a cycle with this person in the past, um, trying to get them to see you for what you are. And, you know, the more you push for it, the less they can see you for what you are. But when you detach your energy, this person had no choice but to see you. Now they want to come back in. They want to be the sun to you, okay? Anything else? All right. So some of y'all, this is not love. Uh, some of y'all, this person did not treat you like they loved you in the past, but they do love you, okay? Some of y'all, this is a friendship. Like I said, nonetheless, I feel like in the past, the person did not show you love, did not show you love the way that you were showing them love. Yeah, but they don't want you to move on either, okay? So these people do not want you to move on. They're coming towards you. Uh, be be wary of the fake friend too. Check out fake friend. What's going on here? Either way, these people want to bless you. Take that blessing and continue to set your boundaries. Just because somebody want to come in and bless you doesn't mean you have to let them back into your world like that. Oh, I'm going to take my blessing because I know this comes from God, fear, and universe. Source, I'm not going to turn it down, but you're not going to be in my life the way you were. So for some of y'all, I feel like y'all, oh, they mad as fuck, and I don't care. All right, I love y'all. Hit the like and subscribe button. Bye. All right, pal, too. This is your pal. So what blessings are going, I mean, coming your way, okay? It's raining really hard, y'all, okay? This shit finna really rain down. I thought it was raining for power one, but it's raining for power two. Why well, every time I get ready to do a power, it start raining even harder? Uh-uh. My bad, y'all. The rain, I'm outside still. The rain trying to come in here. I can't, I can't have it. I can't get my cards wet. But, let's see what blessings are coming your way. So we got questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. Y'all, y'all, uh, third eye done opened up. Uh, you're very in tune. Um, you're being called to get rid of some things or some people that do not lo no longer serve you, okay? So what's happening is you're being aligned or you're aligning yourself. You're getting rid of things or you have already done this. I'm getting most of y'all have already done this. Y'all have already detached from certain things that no longer serve you, that isn't fulfilling you, um, that aren't equal give and take. You detach yourself from this energy. So... What blessings are coming your way? So we got J. Cole Wet Dream. It started off so innocent. She had a vibe and then nigga started dig digging it. Ooh, so, some of y'all, y'all have definitely been working on your body, okay? Um, get rid of, you know, this fat shit right here. Uh, y'all definitely have been working on yourself. Um, looking very beautiful to people. Um, and some people are feeling obsessed with you, okay? There's a lot of people that are obsessed with you. I ain't never did this before, okay? Then we got lions and tigers and bears. I'm scared of loving you. Uh, why do we love love when love seems to hate us? But I feel like you don't detach from somebody when it comes to love, okay? And in the past, you might have been like, why do we love love? Love hates me. Like, this shit sucks. I don't want love ever again. Um, but, yeah, it's like, just because I love you and you love me, it doesn't mean that we're meant to be. Like, I feel like you don't cut off somebody. And although you love them, they were, like, moving, like, shaky like they were moving weird and you just cut them off you didn't like it um just because i love you and you love me that doesn't mean you want me to be i mean i love you from over there right so you you, you question you you questioning everything and you don't detach from people your spirit told you to detach from 
which is good. So this is why you're about to receive some blessings, okay? So I'm feeling like there's somebody now, you're either already talking to somebody or you're about to start talking to someone. Um, this is going to start off very innocent like. Uh, but this person in yourself will end up really, really digging each other, uh, lusting for each other, uh, craving each other. Then we got love drought by Beyonce. Like, I feel like y'all, y'all went through a love drought in the past. Y'all were questioning shit. You went through a love drought. Uh, you feel like the love you were giving goes unnoticed because it says all the loving I've been giving goes unnoticed. It's just floating in the air. What the fuck I'm doing? Why, why I'm telling you you the shit every day? Why I'm telling you you love me every day? But you ain't giving me the same energy belt, uh, back. I feel like I'm in a love drought. So I feel like when this person or this thing put you in a love drought because it says, am I not thirsty enough? Like, it's like you were giving them all the energy that you had, but it wasn't enough. Um, yeah, they feel like it wasn't enough. You want to know, like, what did you do wrong? So you started questioning things, and I feel like you didn't detach from somebody. Um, you had to make a difficult choice, and I feel like you made the right choice. So what blessings are coming your way? Wow, yeah, I definitely see, like I said, in the past, this person, ooh, somebody, you're about to have somebody, you're about to connect with somebody, okay, that's going to give you everything you need, but this person from your past, this person that did you dirty, I do feel like uh, this is, this person is very fearful that you won't want them anymore, okay, uh, so I feel like this person is going to come back within time, this person that did you dirty, but I feel like um, you're going to be making new connections till then okay um i feel like you're about to come into some type of money or you are the queen of pinnacles let's see yeah this person in the past was selfish yeah this person in the past is very selfish okay this person is very low vibration this person in the past is very selfish they may be stingy with their money uh, i feel like this person a hater this person's hating on you because what's going on is you're about to receive blessings you're no longer in this confused state or you're about to get out of this confused state that this person had you in okay you're about to connect with somebody that's going to help you um get out of this, this state they're going to help you get rid of these trust issues uh, and it's going to cause confusion or like um like chaos to this person that did you dirty this king of pinnacles this person could be an earth sign but this person is watching you get blessings is what i'm getting so i feel like uh this person's trying to prepare themselves to come back into your life um maybe not anytime soon i feel like they did you dirty in the past but for some of y'all they just did you dirty so oh i'm getting two stories uh for some of y'all this person did you dirty in the past like a while ago years ago months ago you don't got over it you're getting blessings uh, this person wants to come back in. Uh, for, for other y'all, I feel like um, this person um, did you dirty, or the it's like they did you dirty, but they want to come back. They didn't do you dirty in the past or anything. They're doing you dirty like now, but this person's like low vibrational and they're jealous. They're a hater. And this person's really selfish because it's like you receive a lot of blessings. This person's kind of jealous of the blessings that you have. Yeah, this person's watching the hell out you. Yeah, this person's watching you. You have blossomed ever since you detached from this person. Uh, you come into yourself. You've been working on your self-love, your self-care. Self-love, self-care, selfish. You become selfish with your own energy. You're not letting this person fuck you over anymore. And so this is where your blessings are coming in. Uh, I feel like this person has to watch you. And this person is feeling very hopeless and helpless, okay? This person is hating too. So continue to protect your energy. Because this person is watching you. I feel like a lot of people have their eyes on you. I feel like you're also, uh, uh, apart from this person, a lot of people have their eyes on you. You're doing something in the public eye. Um, and you're about to come into, like, a lot of money here. You, It started raining even more when I said that. You're about to come into a lot of money. You're about to become the king of pinnacles. You're about to become very blessed because whatever you've been doing, you're uh, blossoming. You're about to receive a lot of clientele. You're about to receive a lot of followers, subscribers, a lot of money. Whatever the case, you're uh, being very blessed. And this person is just like, you see how she's holding the sun in her hand because this is you? Now, look at that. That's the sun back there. This person is what? Hopeless and helpless. This person is watching you. They can't stop watching you because you, you this person want to connect with you now. Okay, so no. Because this person, I feel like, is a person that has blocked their blessings in the past. And you're about to come into these blessings. This person is trying to block your blessings. This person, yeah, because you're healed. You've healed from whatever happened in the past. Uh, this person might have hurt you so bad that you couldn't. It, it, it like, it took you off balance in every, every area of your life. Love, money, career, um, 
shit, health. It took you off balance. Now you're becoming back balanced, and now this person wants to connect with you. I feel like they're going through some type of karma, and then they're watching you get blessed. What? So, yeah, you need to listen to your intuition or listen to yourself. Uh, I feel like this person wants you to listen to them, but don't listen to them. Yeah, because this person is not happy. This person is not stable. I don't care what they tell you. This person is not stable. But they is psychic. They know that you're stable or you're becoming stable. Fuck them. I'm sorry because you already healed from this. And I'll be damned if they let, if, if you let them take you off balance again. But whoop your ass. Don't let them take you off balance again, whoever this is. Oh, yeah. Somebody's definitely coming to reach out. They're about to reach out uh, because you don't release them, but they don't want to let go. They don't want to let go. But it had nothing to do with love. This person sees that you're getting blessed. Check our blessings. All I want to know is what their blessings are. But I feel like uh, since your, your blessings are you are healing. You are healed. You are healed. And since you're healed, like I said, there's people that are being magnetized towards you. Don't, don't, don't let this person sabotage that for you. This person is just sabotage energy. Uh, I feel like this person is going to come in like, bro, I love you. We're best friends. You're like home to me. But then the moment you give in, they're going to be back on that shit. Um, that I don't give a damn about you being mad. I don't give a fuck. Y'all see what I'm telling y'all? This happened in the last half. I don't care. Okay? <laughs> That's all I got for y'all, y'all. Uh, y'all's blessing is... Damn, darkest fears. I feel like I'm, I'm a little scared though. This person might be Give more information. Yeah, spiritual. Oh my God, the crown chakra. Y'all protect your energy because this person is a warlock, a witch. Okay, um, whether they know it or not, the moment they feel like, oh, I, I deserve what you got, all of a sudden you don't know why your energy is low. So watch my uh, video. Gossipy bitches are witches that don't know their power. Cause I feel like. Um, this person is trying to spiritually attack you or you're being spiritually attacked or this person, damn, it's like you're refusing to see it though. This person is very strong spiritually, but like they're vibing low. This person does not want you to let go. Some of y'all, they may be doing things like, for some of y'all, they might be actually doing witchcraft. Uh, that's just for some of y'all, not for real. Others of y'all, this person is a magician. They're very manipulative. They're like a narcissist. Uh, very charming, like a sociopath or a psychopath. And they know how to say certain things it's like they're very spiritual or in tune or i don't know what the case is going on but this person the way that shit thundered and then darker spears came out right after that shit in the crown chakra they got me fucked up i don't care about you being mad though <laughs> all right y'all i'm gonna always look out for y'all thank y'all hit that like and subscribe button make sure you detach from this motherfucker because i feel like they are dark all right love y'all thank y'all bye all right, last but not least, pow three. I'm telling you, every time I do a new pow, it begins to rain a little harder. So crazy. But anyway, pow three. So what blessings are coming your way? I feel like somebody's gonna come apologize. You've been waiting. Whoops. You've been waiting for this apology. It might have been months, years, but this is a blessing. Somebody's gonna come in and apologize. For some of y'all, I'm getting. Y'all have been repenting. Y'all have been like praying, apologizing, or repenting, and now you're about to be blessed. God heard your call or your prayer, and you're about to be blessed because it says, I'm sorry, writing past wrongs. Some of you guys were feeling defenseless. Some of you guys feel like you hit rock bottom, but this is all about to come up, okay? So we got strength. A lot of you guys showed a lot of strength, okay? You guys have been praying. You guys have been really connecting with God, okay? So I feel like you're about to super be blessed, okay? I feel like you guys have fixed your connection with spirit, universe, God, your ancestors, okay? I um, mean, you showed a lot of strength. Also, I still get for some of y'all, somebody wants to come in and apologize. So just take it how it resonates. So what blessings are coming your way? Oh, how is this a blessing? I'm going to pull all of them because I don't even want to start talking because this kind of looks weird. But what I'm getting is there was somebody from your past it was a friend to you, like a friend of me. It says a friend of me. Maybe this is the person that's gonna come in and apologize, okay? This person detached from you or you detached from them. The reason that this person detached from you, like a friend or a lover, because they were very jealous, okay? Or, or they felt like you were jealous, okay? So what blessings are coming their way? Yeah, you're about to have a new beginning with somebody that was jealous of you. I feel like they had to uh, have an ego death. This person had an ego death about themselves, and you showed a lot of strength. Um, 
it's like this person was thinking about the possibilities of something and but you're very protected at this time or you're being protective over yourself let's see I feel, yeah, it's like you were going through some type of challenge. So I'm still getting two stories. For some of y'all, y'all have been repenting, praying to God, uh, asking to get yourself out of this, asking to get you out of this challenging time. And God heard you. Spirit, universe, everything. Angels, ancestors, they all heard you. So now this, 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 um, whatever you were going through that had you down, this is about to end, okay? And you're being very protected at this time. I feel like you think a lot or you're in your head a lot. Um, and you're about to have some type of new beginning, okay? And this is uh, so give thanks to spirit, universe, God, ancestors, whoever you pray to, uh, your higher self, okay? Um, because things are definitely about to be looking up for you. They love the strength that you've been showing, okay? Continue to show strength. Um, and for others of you, I'm getting that somebody wants to come in because they were jealous of you. Um, some of y'all, y'all were jealous and. Y'all prayed to get that shit off of you. And others of you, y'all were, somebody was jealous of y'all, but y'all prayed like for a new beginning with this person. Yeah, some of y'all have been like sad as hell. Uh, y'all been manifesting, but whatever you were sad about, keep holding the vision. You showed a lot of strength and something is about to manifest for, for y'all, okay? Uh, it doesn't matter what challenging times y'all been through, okay? This is about to end, okay? You are being protected. Please realize that you are protected. Spirit, universe, God, the angels got you. Okay? What blessings? My bad. What blessings are coming their way? Wow, your third eye is opening up. So, some of y'all, y'all have been praying for clarity. Some of y'all have been praying to be more connected to spirit, universe, God. I knew I wasn't thinking that for no reason. Y'all, this shit is about to open up, okay? Y'all might have been texting somebody that you feel like, I don't know what you would think, like, but some of y'all were jealous of somebody, maybe their intuition, uh, and you prayed for yours to be stronger. For some of y'all, this is somebody was jealous of your intuition, um, and they detached from you, um, and they prayed for their shit to be stronger. Ah, I'm gonna choke, I'm so sorry. Hold on, hold on. Ah. These are my twins, okay. But like, let's, let's see if I can continue to read y'all, cause, Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, for some of y'all, this is the devil. Somebody, it's like somebody trying to manipulate y'all or it's some type of manipulation here or toxic energy here. Where it's like either some of y'all were toxic and you guys prayed to like get yourself out of this toxic energy. Like, I don't want to be like this anymore. You isolated yourself. You did a lot of praying or you prayed for like, and your intuition came through or something. But some of y'all, y'all prayed to get yourself out of a situation because somebody was trying to manipulate you and they were very jealous of you, okay? So take it how it resonates. Um, if you were the one praying uh, to get yourself out of a shitty situation because you realize things about yourself, I got clapping up for you. I love that shit, okay? A lot of people don't. Yes, clap it up for them. A lot of people don't. They just become narcissists. They don't never try to heal that shit. They don't never try to fix that shit. They don't never try to go within. So I really commend you for not being a narcissist. I love you, okay? I fucking love that shit. Uh, okay, and for the others of you, um, yeah, there's somebody here that was very jealous of you, like a friend, a lover. They tried to manipulate you. Uh, but what's the blessing here? Maybe the blessing is you're starting to realize this. Maybe the blessing is... You didn't see this at first, but now your third eye is about to start opening up so that you can see who's jealous of you so that they so that they can be cast from you, okay? For some of y'all, this person, uh for some of y'all, this person is gonna reach out to you, the person that is or was jealous of you. They feel like you're climbing a ladder or you're like at a higher rank than them. Yeah, this person is jealous. They feel like whatever they got going on isn't manifesting as quick. That's what you got going on. Oh my goodness. What blessings are coming their way? What blessings are coming to your way? What blessings are coming to your Like, I'm saying, y'all, some of y'all are about to get, like, recognition or it's like you're shining, okay? But at the same time, this energy here, this other energy is like stopping your blessings from coming through. It could be your very own energy, but I'm going to tell y'all how to unblock this shit because something's meant to manifest for y'all, but either your own energy is blocking this or somebody else's energy is blocking this. 
What's going on? What's blocking this manifestation? What's blocking this manifestation? I feel like some of y'all are blocking this manifestation yourself because it's like you can't stop thinking about what you're trying to manifest or you can't stop thinking about what happened in the past, okay? What is this blessing that's coming in? But the wheel is definitely turning in your favor. You're about to find balance, okay? So it's not giving me any details or specifics on what this ba uh, balance, what this blessing is. For the most part, I see that you're getting yourself away from toxic energy, whether it's yourself or the next motherfucker. You're not about to be around no toxicity anymore, and this is gonna help you manifest. So you, some of y'all are repenting, or somebody's gonna come in and apologize to y'all. Uh, because you showed a lot of strength here, okay? I love y'all. Hope this resonates with y'all. Hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you and bye.